Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, but this has been weighing on my mind pretty heavily lately, and I feel like it's a topic that doesn't get discussed enough, and that topic is taking responsibility for your inner shit. Now listen, I'm not talking like lower intestines and everything, but you probably already knew that. What's weighing heavy on my mind is that people don't seem to be interested in taking responsibility for their emotions and their behavior. And before you say, whoa Becky, hold up, you don't know my life, you have no right to judge, let me just tell you, I grew up in an abusive household. I was verbally and physically abused for the better part of my life. And that wasn't my fault. Sometimes things happen in your life that you have no control over. And as a young kid, you don't have control over your situation. You can't move out. You can't stand up for yourself. It's hard. I've been diagnosed with chronic depression, PTSD, and generalized anxiety disorder. But here's the part where I take responsibility for my inner shit. I have gone to counseling. I have started taking medication. I was on Celexa, now I'm gonna be on Wellbutrin to see how that goes. And don't get me wrong, I understand that insurance can be a huge issue and not everybody can afford it. I get it, I've been there. I've just been recently able to take care of myself that way. But here's the kicker. My emotional well-being is not my abuser's responsibility. It is mine. I have to take care of myself. I know a lot of people out there are probably waiting for some nice person to rescue them and free them from their baggage and fix them and cure them. They can't and they won't and here's why. Look around you. Everybody has baggage. We're all kind of Look out for number one, you know, and sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that a lot of people can't handle some amounts of baggage from other people. I am married to the most amazing man I know. He didn't fix me. He didn't cure me. But what he did do is provide me a safe space so I can be myself and so I don't have to freak out when I'm having anxiety. And he is teaching me that not everyone is going to respond to mistakes with anger and with violence. And I'm not saying you have to downplay your mental illness or your abuse or what's going on in your life currently because it's serious. It's important to get that figured out as soon as you can, but you can only do it when you're ready. No one else is going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself and you don't have to forgive your abuser, but you can't expect them to be the one to fix you. That's not going to happen. My abuser doesn't even realize they've done anything wrong. They're just going along in their own world, not even thinking about how other people feel, and that's going to happen. They are not the ones to fix you. You have to fix you. If you can, if you can, go to rehab, go to counseling. Talk to your doctor about depression. This shit's real, it's serious. Not enough people talk about this crap, but it's everywhere. So many people are affected by it, but they feel helpless because there's nothing they can do. You can do it, you can, and you have to, otherwise it won't get better. And that makes me sound like a little bit of a hypocrite because I have told people, don't worry, it gets better. But here's the piece, you decide that. You have to decide that it gets better. You have to want that for yourself. You can't just wait for something to happen and then everything's gonna be magically okay. You have to put in the work for self-improvement. That's it, it's not easy. Sometimes it seems impossible. Even though I'm on medication and I am stabilized, I still have ridiculous anxiety attacks and fears and phobias and flashbacks and everything. Nothing will be 100%. But you're strong. 
You have made it 100% through those bad days if you're here watching this right now. You have that power. You have that strength. You just need to see it and do it. I get it. It's hard. You feel like you're alone. You feel like no one cares about you. But the thing about depression and anxiety is they're lying to you. You have an impossible amount of people that love you and that they want to be there for you and they want you to know that they care about you. You can always fall back on anybody and if you don't have anyone to fall back on, talk to me. I care. I want you to be here. I have lost people that have just... Life was too much and it was too hard and they couldn't do it anymore. I've lost people like that and I don't want to lose any of you because you mean so much to me. And I'm saying this because I want you to get better, but you can't unless you're ready. It's up to you. And you don't have to be ready today. You don't have to be ready tomorrow. You don't have to be ready next week or next year. You'll know. I wasn't ready until half a year ago. I'm 24 years old. I've been living with this shit my entire life and oh man, March. Last March was when I decided to do something about it. It's never too late. Honestly, it never is. You just need a sliver of courage and determination. That's it. And whenever you're ready to go on that journey, please let me know because I will support you and I will love you and I will be there for you every step of the way. I know this is a little heavier than my usual videos, but I feel like this really needed to be said. And if you felt like I didn't explain something right, that you disagree with me, that you wanted to talk to me about any of this stuff, let me know because it's real and it's serious and you're not alone, no matter how alone you feel. But the bottom line is take care of yourself you're responsible for your emotions. You may not have been responsible for what happened to you, but if you're an adult, it's your job now. Take care of yourself and please talk to me if any of this rang a bell or if you felt something, 